before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. A baby-faced teenager has been told she's not guilty of killing a man she punched on a night out. She punched him, he fell unconscious, he knocked his head and he died six days later. 58-year-old Andrew Turner was out drinking with his mates in Bridlington, East Yorkshire, when he bumped into 19-year-old Kelsey O'Hara. She's now 20 years old. So, some members in the two groups had had previous runnings with each other, and one of Andrew's mates had apologised to Kelsey's mate for an incident that happened a few weeks back. Now onto the punch. At around 1.30am, Kelsey confronted Andrew and asked him to apologise for bumping into her friend. But Andrew and both Kelsey were drunk, and Andrew refused to apologise. Now Kelsey threw her purse down on the ground, and in response, she launched herself at Andrew. She punched him in the face with so much force that Andrew was not unconscious. As I said, he fell to the ground and hit his head. The back of his head was bleeding, and he did request stitches. Now police and ambulance attended the scene in which Andrew refused medical attention. He was both lucid and responsive. And of course, Kelsey was arrested and she said no comment in the interview. Now, it has to be said that everyone thought that Andrew Turner was fine. But sadly, six days later, on September the 3rd of last year, he died. Now, during a trial to see what type of accountability Kelsey would face, a pathologist declared that Kelsey was not responsible for Andrew's death. Though, Andrew's cause of death was not mentioned. Now, Kelsey O'Hara, who's 20 years old, of Trinity Road in Bridlington, pleaded guilty to wounding, and she was spared an immediate jail sentence for the attack and given a six-month curfew. Now, it's all well and good of a pathologist saying that you're not responsible for someone's death, but just to know the fact that you punched someone and they died six days later is going to have an effect on you. It's going to affect you physically and mentally. Hopefully, Kelsey O'Hara can move on with her life. Stay safe, safe.